consume you. Peeps, I'm usually here seeing me actually doing something in the game. This is the ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. And I thought I'd just sort of show a bit of fighting technique, which is, it may not be the, the best, but it's as good as I can do. Resource management. You see the bar that's going down is my magic car. That's my primary weapon. You see how I'm, I'm holding down on the right front uh, button to get that continuous beam of damage. Electrical damage, but at the same time I'm regenerating magicka, so it's good to switch to that to alternate between that and uh, normal light and heavy attacks. So that you're replenishing your magicka as quickly as you deplete it. thereby balancing your resources. And this is what I do when I, I want to get the maximum experience points. XP. You know, I'll gather a bunch of things together into a group and circle them. You see how they, they form a tight huddle, a tight bunch. So any area of effect damage AOE is affecting them all so I'm hitting them all with this weapon and subsequently taking them all down at the same time so it's m the most economic use of of damage and resources And this is what I do every day. I sort of come into the, this is a an American server character on the NA server. My crafting character, so she's not even a damage dealer as such. And she's my crafting character, so I, I needed to have to defend herself. She has to be able to defend herself in order to access some of the content of the game but she's got high-end crafting skills so she can harvest all the high-end materials like ruby ash wood which is the, the best um, highest quality of wood for producing uh, <coughs> champion 160 weapons Similarly, runes, my rune craft, my enchanting is maxed as well. Hmm. Pick some flowers. So this, so on the North American server, my characters are not as well on in terms of gameplay and skills. I thought I'd just show you 
techniques and habits I have when it comes to generating experience points. area of effect um, things that you can cast well you can just stand in the middle of them it doesn't matter if you're taking some damage but you can save on resources by popping these a AOE things that have a timer on them it's only usually so many seconds that's usually enough to wipe out the, the required enemies Some creatures respawn quite quickly, such as these wolves. Dire wolves. So you can more or less harvest them every so many minutes. And I got 5.5k experience from just those three wolves. I think I am at present carrying uh, an XP scroll. I'm not quite sure. I'll check. An XP... No, it's actually run out. So that was, that's without a, any kind of XP buff from scrolls or potions. Mm, yes. I should be in for a nice champion point fairly soon. Not <laughs> of that because some of the some of these things don't travel to you they'll hold their ground so you have to go to them or bring all the other enemies to them oh, nearly there nearly had a champion point As you can see if you look at my screen, Destroy Abyssal Geezers. Oh, there's my champion point. Destroy Abyssal Geezers. Which are here. I've done one already. Two more to do. I might not hang around and do them. Ah, these, these characters will travel to me. That's good, so I can just stand here. Round them all up into a tight huddle. Group hug. Group hug everyone. Come on. You can do it. Group hug. Yes, lovely. Well, it's unusual for me to actually show the video where I'm doing some fighting to tell you how I 
fight and explain why I do what I do. And I hope it was interesting and possibly helpful. And like it if you like it. Find it beneficial. And thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now. From Elder Scrolls Online.